Hey everyone, welcome to 2018. I am super excited for this new year. I have a ton of awesome projects lined up. Um, this first project I've had in mind for quite a while now. I've had some veneered walnut plywood laying around the shop and it's time to finally use it for something. What I'm gonna make is a walnut and steel entryway table using this. And to make it look like it's actual walnut hardwood, I'm going to cut a crack into the top of this and I have some hickory laying around and I'm gonna make a bow tie joint using that hickory and then for the legs I'm gonna weld up some steel legs and paint those white I think it's gonna look awesome contrasting with the natural color of the walnut and I am super excited I hope you guys follow along with me and let's get going So I have my hickory bow tie joint covering my crack, my walnut crack. Get your mind out of the gutter. This hickory bow tie is protruding out quite a bit and it would take forever to sand it down to meet flush with the walnut. So I'm actually gonna use a makeshift router sled and take some light passes over that bow tie joint with my router. That way it's gonna knock it down really quick and then when it gets pretty close to being flush with the walnut, I'll just use my random orbited sander and knock it down flush. So I have that done, that went pretty smooth. Um, when I was doing the router sled though, I got a little close to one side of the rail and my router kind of dipped down a little bit and it kissed that hickory bow tie. There's a slight indentation in there. Um, I don't think anyone's gonna really notice except now since I just told you. But other than that, it turned out really awesome. The gap between the hickory and the walnut is really smooth. It's a smooth transition. I just went with a 220 grit sandpaper on my random orbited sander. I didn't want to rough it up too much just because that veneered walnut has a tendency to eat away pretty fast. And now I'll go ahead and trim up the sides of these. So let's go do that now.
probably noticed when I was using my chop saw to cut the steel that it was a little bit rusty. So I went ahead and took my angle grinder with a 40 grit pad and cleaned it all up. The local metal supplier here has an area where they have discounted steel just because it might be rusted and it's off cuts. Well I went ahead and picked some up from there and got it for about 40% cheaper than buying it brand new. All it takes is a little manual labor to get it back into its prime position. So now let's go ahead and weld up the legs. All right, so I got the welds all ground down on these legs and then I went ahead and cut some flat bar here that we're gonna be able to screw in the tabletop uh, from the bottom of these. So the tabletop's gonna sit right here in this gap. We're gonna countersink some screws in this flat bar and that's what's gonna hold the tabletop on. So let's go ahead and get these welded up to these legs now. hope you guys enjoyed that build and I hope you guys follow along with me throughout 2018. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a share. Share it with your friends and family. I'd really appreciate that. This year, I'd really like to focus on growing my YouTube channel as well as my Instagram. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, go check it out. I have a ton of other projects from uh, barn doors, tables, cutting boards that I haven't put on my YouTube channel. So go give us a follow at Black Timber Company and I hope you all a good 2018.